I want to talk uh, today about antivirus D68 in relation to paralysis with children. As you uh, uh, probably have heard uh, in the news, this virus has been circulating in the United States and in Europe for a number of years and mostly affects children. This virus has, uh, uh, gives symptoms similar to poliovirus. Children, in the severe cases, are unable to walk, unable to use their hands, and unable to breathe um, by, themselves, by themselves. This is really a problem. This is uh, a problem in which we, in Europe, really have to face more aggressively. We have uh, found over 30 cases in mostly Western European countries in 29 cases affecting uh, children and one case affecting an adult. The problem is that the systematic uh, analysis is actually not present in most of the countries because the assumption is that this virus, as it being an enterovirus, can only be detected in CSF as well as in stool. But in this case, this is a respiratory virus and this virus can only be detected in most cases in respiratory samples and nobody in reference laboratories or diagnostic laboratories detect the virus because they just don't ask or get the samples. The biggest issue is how to continue with Eastern and Southern European countries where we see there is really an underdiagnosis in numbers related to this disease. Actually strange because all these countries are able to uh, prove that they are poliovirus free but somehow the attention to this non-polio-like antivirus is lacking or falling behind. We wonder what we can do. First of all, we must work together with clinicians, mostly children neurologists and ID specialists, to understand much more what's going on. And secondly, we have decided to uh, aggressively uh, email and contact uh, all our colleagues to enable them or be, make them being aware of this disease. And finally, and I think mostly importantly, we have uh, uh, found a collaboration with our U.S. colleagues who actually have seen more cases, uh, more severe cases. And if you look at the newspapers and uh, the media coverage in 2018 and actually the last few weeks, the number of cases of paralysis in children has really, really increased dramatically compared to, for instance, last year. So we just have to wait a few weeks in Europe and I'm convinced that these cases will also be detected over here.